well, part of the complexity in the supply chain is that the uh, the manufacturing facility is very distant from the hospital or the blood banks that collect the primary cells. So obviously, and, and especially at this period in time when all communications are disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemics, it is of utmost concern that the uh, transportation is, is fully controlled and, and fully efficient, which which is actually the case, and again, it is necessary to uh, stringently monitor the, the situation. The situation can evolve from day to day, uh, but there are efficient uh, IT uh, technologies that have been deployed by manufacturing uh, facilities to uh, communicate with the local hospitals and local uh, collection facilities in order to streamline the process. So that's that's one aspect at the moment. Shipping and receiving is made much more complex by the uh, by the COVID nineteen uh, pandemics. It was already complex in in a normal uh, situation, but it's even more complex uh, now. Collection facilities, <clears throat> uh, since they behave as suppliers to the uh, manufacturing. Uh, organization, they should uh, comply with a set of requirements and this is being verified through uh, documentary and on-site uh, audits. Uh, in particular, uh, the uh, maintenance of the infrastructure, the maintenance of the equipment, uh, training and retraining, habilitation of key personnel are uh, uh, especially important aspects uh, to ensure uh, harmonization in practice from one side to another and that the starting material that is procured to the manufacturer is suitable for uh, uh, manufacturing the final product and will minimize the chance that uh, a manufacturing failure happens or an out of specification product. Uh, is uh, manufactured. Uh, so this is uh, quite stringent, uh, quite time consuming uh, to the uh, collection facilities, hospitals, blood banks that uh, participate in these programs. But again, this is uh, uh, quite feasible if you commit uh, necessary uh, human resource. Uh, the principles uh, on which uh, uh, manufacturer audits are based are quite similar to the uh, principles established in the FACT JC accreditation process for stem cell transplantation. And this is one of the reasons why the a valid uh, JC accreditation certificate is usually one of the first uh, piece of documentation that is required by the pharma companies that manufacture uh, CAR T cells. Um, human cells, human tissues, so there are uh, um, specific requirements for uh, uh, patient screening and, and patient uh, collection and patient safety, but it's not different from what is uh, required for autologous transplantations. For, so patients are screened for the most uh, usual uh, communicable diseases, including uh, hepatitis B and C, HIV, syphilis, and, and so on. And of course, again, at the moment, uh, there is a, a, a specific request to screen the patients for infection with the SARS-CoV-2, uh, but mostly because treating an infected patient with CAR T cells would probably put that person at higher risk of uh, morbidity and mortality after this treatment. 